This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study One was inspired by a definite piece of music, the overture to Handel's opera, Rhoda Linda. The assemblage is composed in three parts, and I see it as going from left to right. The first part on the left is an arrangement of wood, fabric, and a small painted canvas. In the second part, the arrangement of shapes is repeated in acrylic paint on the canvas that curves forward. The last part is on a large canvas that extends behind the whole assemblage. It consists of two dancing figures. Their color repeats the general color of the first two parts of the work. This is Len Gerwick. I think of Rhythm Study 5 as a contrast between the geometric arrangement of the painted shapes and the irregular shapes of the wood and paper. I also see the contrast of the darker wood verticals against the bright and warm shapes of the paint almost as if one were looking from a dark room through a barred window into a sunny, hot world. The papyrus at the top, torn into an oval shape, is an intermediary between the color of the flat and warm colors of the paint and the texture and roughness of the stressed vertical wood. This is Len Gerwick. I call this painting or assemblage Rhythm Study 6. I used a piece of split wood with the bark still on and another small piece of natural wood. On either side of the painting are pieces of stressed wood. In back is a stretched linen canvas with acrylic shapes that relate to the wood in front. The overall concept is to create a rhythm between the painted shapes and the three-dimensional pieces of wood.
This is Len Gerwick. I call this assemblage Rhythm Study 7. It is composed of two stretched canvases, a rectangle and a curved canvas mounted in front of the larger one. Pieces of split wood are mounted to the base and pegged to the canvases. The attempt here is to create a flowing movement of both the wooden pieces and the painted shapes. The painted shapes are suggested by organic forms, and the colors follow those of bark and lichen on the wood. The sizes and shapes of the two canvases are also part of the rhythmic design. This is Len Gerwick. I call this assemblage Rhythm Study 8, or The Embrace. The whole idea of this assemblage is the movement and progression of shapes. The linen canvas itself is built on curved stretchers that foster the movement. On the left, the canvas and the wooden plank peg to it lean into the design. A vertical progression of wood and painted shapes at the bottom center create a pattern that go from a three-dimensional form sticking out of the picture plane to two-dimensional shapes that fade from sight. At the top there is a hint of two human faces that suggest a kiss or an embrace. This is Len Gerwick. This assemblage is Rhythm Study 9, but I also call it Four Pieces of Wood. It's pretty simple. Four pieces of wood pegged to a stretched linen canvas. The texture of the raw linen and the texture and the subtle color of the bark and wood do all the talking. I arrange the pieces of wood in a rhythmic pattern. The light falling on the canvas is also part of the whole, and so are the shadows.
This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 10 is also called Man with a Shadow. The shadow referred to is the shape in the life drawing of the nude man that extends behind him like a spirit or maybe an extension of his thoughts. Shadows in general are important in this assemblage, as one form overlays another and their shadows create other shapes. There's a roughness to the textures of this assemblage that I like. In contrast to the irregular shapes of the wood and the shadows they create, there is a repetition of rectangles, as in the box of the overall work, the paper the drawing is on, and the black fibrous packing paper. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 11 is built on three linen canvases. My idea is to have all shapes arranged in groups of three, beginning with the basic structure of the assemblage, that is, three connected canvases. I conceive this work as being viewed from left to right, as if one were reading. Of course the assemblage can and will be seen as the eye cares to roam through it. On the left there is an arrangement of three small vertical shapes that is then repeated to the right with three larger shapes, one of which is a curvy piece of wood pegged through the canvas. The arrangement of three shapes continues across the three canvases to the end at the right. The textures and colors of the materials used is a large part of the design. The paint colors are kept contained to augment the natural colors of the other materials. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 12 was inspired by a gnarled branch of a maple tree that had a strange, somewhat sinister look to it. 
Placing it on the canvas, it had a serpentine or sea creature appearance. I wanted a flying or sweeping energy in the painting. I splattered the black painted shape and then pegged the distorted branch and other wood pieces across the canvas as if they were flying or swimming. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 13 is composed of three forms. A horizontal black stripe divides the work into two parts, upper and lower. Above is a simple geometric horizontal form, an arrow-like object. Below is an, an irregular complicated form of varied texture and color. I see the top as conscious and the bottom as unconscious. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 14 was inaugurated by a large slice of a tree stump that when looked at in a certain way resembles a ferocious fish. In fact, I have a secondary name for the work, which is Big Fish. The large grainy slab of wood protrudes beyond the confines of the canvas where an old nail adds to its silhouette and texture. On the right, the dark papyrus extends the assemblage into space. The arrangement of wood, twine, and papyrus at the bottom foil the big shape and seem to trail along in its wake. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 15 was inspired by the piece of wood that is pegged to the linen canvas. 
No matter which way I held the wood, it had a definite animal connotation. There was also something aquatic about it. In fact, I most think of the smooth, slick body of a seal when I look at the wood. This vertical position of the wood gives it a charge of energy that I repeated in the spinning and splashing paint behind the wood form. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 18, I also called Curved Gray and White Shapes. I worked strictly in monochrome and was seeing what kind of depth I could achieve with simple repeating forms. The depth is about an inch and the painting is mounted in a three-dimensional frame with glass on the front. This is a collage of heavy paper where the curved shapes are built up on top of one another and do take up real space. However, some of the smaller black shapes that seem to float are painted. Some of them are holes cut out with black paint behind. This is Len Gerwick. Rhythm Study 24 was inspired by a Kyrie from a Catholic Mass by William Dufay, Missa Ecce Ancili Domini, composed in the mid 1400s. The collage is 15 by 18 inches and was created on a piece of heavy watercolor paper. Individual strips of watercolor paper were cut and painted. Groups of these individual strips were glued to three-dimensional shapes that were arranged in the composition. These larger shapes were of different elevations and depths and create overlaps and shadows. To achieve more depth, a central area of the larger watercolor paper was cut out and various levels of painted strips of paper assembled behind on a back sheet of watercolor paper.
This is Len Gerwick. I conceived Rhythm Study 25 as being read from the bottom up. It is a series of forms that are in three tiers. The lowest is two heavy pieces of rough bark studded with nails. The nails are arranged in groups of threes, and my idea was to create a visual rhythm as they proceeded across the canvas. The second tier, in the center of the canvas, is lighter wood shapes. There is another parade of nails in groups of three. These are of lighter and brighter color. At the top is the third tier that has rectangular papers one upon the other. There is a series of nails of bright color. A delicate lichen covered piece of wood is, is suspended above. This is Len Gerwick. I call this assemblage legs. It's a composition of vertical forms that all function as supports or legs. work was inspired by the fantastic and unusual and solid tree trunk that had a great burl on it. In contrast to wood in its natural form, there is an elegant carved wooden leg on the left, which was rescued from an old piano. In the center are other natural legs, human ones 